Hello and welcome to the Madhouse UK podcast. I'm Steve and uh, it's good to be back. Uh, as probably some of you know, I've been away for a week skiing and um, and now I'm trying to get caught up with all the stuff that builds up every time I ever go away. So uh, that's been entertaining. <coughs> now, uh, Dungeon World is due this weekend and um, uh, I will be running it probably Sunday this week. The reason it's running a day or so late is because um, the Madhouse USA GM has said some of his stuff is a bit late and he's going to be getting it to me a little later than usual. But that's fine because the aim is generally to set the deadline for Wednesday, run it Friday night. It can run as late as Saturday or Sunday because the main problem with uh, deadlines is always getting the postal players in the US in time and uh, Saturday, Sunday makes very little difference really. Uh, the UK players of course all play by email so there's no problem with that. So it should be good. <coughs> now please excuse me I've got a bit of a croaky throat. Um, I haven't got the cold everyone else has got but I do seem to be a little bit under the weather. I think um, skiing holidays take a lot out of you. <laughs> it's not like a summer holiday where you get to relax and chill out. You spend the whole time um, partying hard and then uh, exercising throughout the day of course so uh, that's good. Anyway uh, a few things to talk about tonight. First of all um, uh, projects I wanted to talk about that are on the go. So everybody knows uh, Demon Rift 3 is still late. It's right there ready to go. It's just that every time I set about to launch it, something else needs doing more urgently. And that's true at the moment because I've got to get the main game run and that's heating up all my time. Um, also, I want to get Middengast launched, but that involves setting up the web pages first so that people can sign up for it. Um, I've done the main map of Middengast and the first dungeon. I want to do another two dungeons before I actually launch, but um, still heading for a launch in February, I'm sure. Um, I've also got a couple of other projects bubbling away. I've been thinking, tinkering with um, relaunching Twilight Earth. Now, Twilight Earth um, is all done. The game was running before. I stopped running it for various technical problems, but I was thinking of um, remaking Twilight Earth with um, a similar character base to Dungeon World, which will solve some of the problems that I was having with the previous version of Twilight Earth. But otherwise, the game world and the items and stuff, the monsters, still significantly different. So I might well do that, but that will be later in the year. I'm not going to do any other modules until Demon Rift 3 and Middengast are well out of the way and running safely. And then um, Madash USA have asked me if I would think about a two-week turnaround game for some of their postal players who'd like to play something else, um, as well as Dungeon World, but um, and need a sort of a slower turnaround because they play by post. And uh, I'm thinking of doing sort of a Weird West thing. I think that would be popular in the US, but I imagine some UK players will play it as well, but that's down the line. Okay, um, had a few interesting emails, and I, I thought I would let you know, um, excuse me, drinking my big tea, um, I had a particularly funny one from a, a gentleman called Scott Vandersee, great player, and Scott said, just a random wacky idea, I'm just reading it here, I have characters in the Castle of the Damned, Damned is pretty strong language, he says, how about a Castle of the Darned? Instead, it could be full of knitted animates created by a rogue Yarnomancer with the skill of Yarnomancy to summon knitted animates available for purchase at the end of the dungeon. Now, I can't work out whether Scott is serious or Scott is being silly, but um, I like silly ideas. So <laughs> who knows? Maybe Yarnomancy will make an entry into the game at some point. Um, I had an email from um, a player who will go nameless who said um, who didn't want me to do the Grey's Order that I previously talked about in the chat room and this player said you know actually I take centaurs quite seriously and please stop messing around and making them a, a joke and a part of frivolity and I, it's a fair point I think I was having a bit of fun with it I, I don't think it would do any harm to have a grey's order but um but far be it from me to irritate anybody and um and I just want to make it very clear there's no chance that when I when I phase out some of the main characters because um, some of the one of the things I'm doing at the moment is making it so that not all the characters are available to starting players. Uh, we've actually generated quite a lot that are readily available now, um, and we're going to slim it back down to a bit larger than the original list, but not too much larger. But I'm not getting rid of centaurs. Centaurs are here to stay. Don't worry about that, you centaur fans. Centaurs are not going anywhere. Um, uh, I had a, a bug report. I've had a couple of bug reports, not too many this turn, maybe half a dozen and mostly quite small things. Uh, when I get bug reports, it tends to be these stairs don't work or I cop tried to copy this scroll and it won't copy. And these are common errors because it's easy to forget to do the stair link. You set all the stairs up, you set everything up, but then you forget to do the link. Um, and I make so many sets of stairs. Uh, people tend to forget the ones that work and remember the ones that don't but there's plenty that work but every once in a while I forget to do a stairs link so thank you for reporting them because that's helpful and then the other common thing is that a, a scroll that's fairly new has, hasn't has got the copy code working and that is because um, the first thing I tend to do is get the scroll itself working and I don't always remember to do the next kind of uh, maintenance bit which is to copy the scroll sometimes I forget that 
<coughs> I try not to, but sometimes I do. Um, so uh, one of the bug reports I got was that the Wild Damsons Guild Hall is still not doing anything, they said. And apparently it's never done anything. I thought I did it. <laughs> Obviously not. It's one of those things. I do so many things, sometimes I forget what I've done and what I haven't done. I had another player say that I hadn't um, finished doing some skill work that I did with them, was doing for them for the last um, special offer. And I won't name the player. You know who you are. And I thought I'd done it. I really did. It's very much like I'm at one of these Mandela moments where I was convinced I'd done it. And I had a look and... I hadn't done it. So perhaps I just dreamed what I was going to do or I plotted what I was going to do and then never actually got around to tapping the keys. I don't know. Anyway, going to be working on that. Um, expecting to run the game on Sunday. Um, I, I'm, uh, I'm not around very much tomorrow, but tomorrow night I'll be doing an all-nighter and then I'll be working Sunday. The aim being to get it run late on Sunday, hopefully with everything working and all the new bits working and it will all be quite exciting. But you know the score. Anything that isn't work, we get it fixed pretty promptly, don't we? Um, and then I did just want to remind everyone about the Madhouse Minicon uh, because that's creeping closer and closer. Now I know it's still a few months away but the worst thing is when you get to it and everybody says oh I forgot the date and I, I didn't manage to book the holiday and whatever. Uh, you should all know that the Madhouse UK Minicon this year which is a particularly cool one that I'm planning some great stuff for is the 24th to the 26th of July here in Wisbeach. So please block it out in your diary. Let's have a great turnout this year. We're going to have some really fun things to do. A really fun um role-playing event on the Saturday evening and uh, everybody always has a good lot of fun at these so I hope that you're looking forward to it and that you can definitely make it. Um, I'm shortly going to be setting up some new chat room sessions. I know we've been doing those but I've been away so we haven't done many for a little while. Um, I intend to set up maybe four or five dates, uh, kind of one a week over the next five weeks and I'll probably do them in my podcast that I'm going to do tomorrow or Sunday so I'll have some dates for you then and you can mark them out and help me continue working on the character classes that we've been developing and changing and then some other new bits we want to talk about so that's everything for now I'm going to go back to doing some work on Dungeon World before I run out of steam tonight and go to bed and um, I will be talking to you all soon so uh, until then don't forget to hit like um, subscribe to this uh, to this uh, podcast this U this youtube channel and uh, leave a comment please saying anything you're interested in or found uh, useful so that the all of these things help get the page seen and that helps get new players into the game as well as engaging existing players so uh good to get back to work now guys and i'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>